inside Westlake Studios, the place that for the last few months Limp Bizkit had been holed up working on what promises to be one of the biggest albums of the year. And Carson, I, I have a feeling you, you probably know the title, the working title of this album. I, I, all I knew originally it had been the, uh, it was going to be like Limp Dependence Day when the record was going to be out on the 4th, but now it's something funky like chocolate starfish and like the hot dog flavored water. Is that right? Indeed it is, and I have uh, a little food to kind of mirror that title for you. It's some chocolate starfish, little pastries here for you. And as we move down the food table, the hot dogs on mass, and in fact, some hot dog flavored water. I don't know if you guys wanted to see that or not, but <laughs> this food is all here for the uh, LA press corps assembled behind me. These guys are here for a major press conference from Limp Bizkit, a major announcement, in fact, that we're going to be bringing to you exclusively live in just about 15 minutes. We'll be talking to the band. Major news about a series of free concerts, Limp, and some special guests will be playing this summer. Do not move. MTV News in Los Angeles on TRL just about 15 minutes from now. Awesome, John. Yes, indeed, Carson. Um, actually not in the press conference yet because we here on MTV News have got the guys exclusive before that, before they go next door to, to face yeah. the press. What's up, guys? How you doing? What up? Good. Uh, Carson, what's up? What up, uh, number, eight, number eight today. Number Nothing. eight. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. And kind of up and down the chart there. Well, it's not supposed to be on MTV anyway. There you, go. there you go. So we mentioned earlier a major announcement. You're about to make it to the press, but uh, you've got it for us first. What's what's going on? Um, we're getting ready to announce that uh, Limp Biscuit is... Uh, going to give back to our fans what they've given us and done for us. We're going to do a free tour uh, across the country. It's going to be no strings attached, a free tour brought you to you by Napster.com and uh, it's really free. There's We're going to play multiple nights. We're going to go back to the smaller venues to get closer to our fans and have more of that intimate feel and like play multiple nights and it's really free. It's like you just get in line and they're going to open the door and let people in to that point and then right. the next night you just hopefully you're in a just stay there or be in the front of the line, but it's Limp Bizkit and Cypress Hill, and we still haven't uh, decided who's going to be the opening band yet, but it there seems like... There will some, be a third band, though? Yeah, there'll be an opening band. We're still figuring that out. We're trying to get some feedback from our fans that we should bring in. Cool. They're going to be playing 10 cities, multiple dates, as you said. In fact, we got to look at those cities for you right now. As they roll by, let me ask you, now you said that people just show up. Is there any way you can't get tickets in advance, basically? You just... You turn out for it's it? Pretty much. I, I think it would, it's better so people don't have an advantage anyway. Like, really free, you know, no strings attached. Just whoever makes just whoever it, makes it come know. on out and, you know, check it out. It's like it's it's our new, for our new record, Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water. And a title which we'll let everybody uh, use their imagination about. But uh, in, the, in, the, in the meantime, um, let me ask you about the fact that uh, to do a free tour, obviously that, that costs you money. And you mentioned Napster sponsoring the tour. Interesting choice considering these days a lot of people are actually going after Napster. Dr. Dre, Metallica. In fact, the Recording Academy even, even brought suit against the site. You guys seem to be aligning yourselves with them. Well, you know, it's a Napster is just a great way for for marketing and promotion awareness and our fans and us we're we're all di you know the internet is is something that's here and it's here to stay and you know if our fans are down with it we're down with it and the only people that are scared are people in the record industry that are used to things going the old way and they're always scared of new change you know what I mean so it's like who cares, man? We're just going to bring it to you free, and they, they're paying for it. It's non-profit, Cypress Hill and Biscuit. Nobody makes any money. It's completely just paying for the tour costs, and we're going to bring it to you like that. And I think that, you know, it's just a way to give back what we've been given, and who cares what anybody thinks, man? Great. We're going to talk to him more about that as well as the record right now. We're going to walk into the next room to face the, uh, the L.A. press corps. Are you ready for this? I'm not, I've never <laughs> done this before. <laughs> so this is going to be... Uh, I mean, a lot of crews in there. Let me let me ask you, what, do you, what are you expecting in terms of, like, when you face the Axis Hollywoods of the world, et cetera? Do, do, like, what kind of questions do they generally ask? Are there favorite Limp Bizkit questions? They're not favorite Limp Bizkit questions, but it's more of a way for me to put the word out that I'm looking for Mrs. Wright. <laughs> really? That's it? That's pretty much the, the major statement? Yeah. Oh, man. All right. I'll let you guys get past me. Good. Uh, all right, <laughs> all right. there you see it. Limp Bizkit about to face the press, take questions about all kinds of things. In fact, we'll be hooking up with the band a little bit later on, about a half hour from now. More of MTV News live from Los Angeles. You heard it first here exclusively on TRL. Carson, back to you. All right, thank really? you, guys. I was like, thought I they were going to grill there's you. There's so many cameras and, and like, 
it was kind of bugged out, but it was cool. Hey, Carson, man, hit me up on the two-way. Yo, I got you, man. There you go. Uh, we've Just been to writing recap. back and forth. We're like pen pals, John. <laughs> He says you're writing back and forth like pen pals at this point. It's all good. All right, just to recap for you guys, if you didn't hear the announcement before, a series of free shows by these guys, plus Cypress Hill and a third band, true, yes, to be announced. Um, and that's going to happen in 10 cities beginning July 4th in Chicago. Uh, multiple dates in cities, yes? Yeah, well, that way, you know, a lot of people can have a chance to get in. You're playing smaller venues so we can be, like, back to basics, sort of, like, more intimate, more, like, just more energy, more intimate. So we're gonna play multiple nights, so you know more people can see it and do whatever. It's sort of just to let you know that our record is coming out, you know, in August, and at the same time let you know that we appreciate that everything that everybody's done for us. And, and speaking of that new record, do. Chocolate Starfish and the Hot Dog Flavored Water, a title I can't say enough times. I don't think. We've got a track. We've got a little, little bit of music for him right now, right? <laughs> a little bit of brand new music exclusively here on TRL. This track is what? Um, this Working song. title, Hot Dog Flavored Water. Is yeah. Title. title track, then. Yeah. All right. It's pretty tight, though. What are they, um, are they, uh, being able to hear this? Are they able to hear it? Yeah. Oh, cool. wow. Yeah. Okay. Cool yeah. Now, no vocals done yet. No vocals. I have to be inspired by uh, something or somebody. I'm so sort of working right. on right now. It's the stage right. Chocolate starfish on this track. No, there is no chocolate starfish. That's why it's called a working title. <laughs> well, it's got a lot of whammy bar in it. And so yeah. This is the return of the whammy bar. I and, feel and like it's just more like girls are just going to be able to do that, and guys are going to be able to go like that. You know, just right. Oh, very cool. Let me ask you, you know, Napster, Napster.com, of course you guys know the MP3 uh, search engine, very controversial website, sponsoring the Limp Free Concert Tour. It's a great website, huh? Oh, absolutely. Why not? Sure. Uh, I want to ask you guys, if, if this track ended up on Napster, would that be a problem for you? Limp Biscuit not getting paid for downloads of, of hot dog flavored water? Actually, it just like it gives you a chance to like, if you like the single or you like a song that you hear on the radio or see a video on MTV, you can go on there, and if before you want to buy the whole record, you want to make sure the whole record's good because a lot of times you like somebody sing on you go buy the record and it sucks, and you're just right. like you don't like the rest of the record, you don't like the one single, so you can go on and like check it out, like you know, we and, can't stop it. You yeah, can't, you, it's just it's a cool thing. You can't stop this. And you don't see this putting you guys at odds with Metallica well, or see, Dre or the thing with Metallica is I the first time I ever heard of Metallica was on a taped. It was on a blank tape that was taped for me. It was Kill 'Em All, their first record. Right. And I was a diehard fan ever since. I was the and same I way with Corn. I them. I got a this cassette day. copy of Corn right. on a sh crappy cassette copy, and I listened to it, and I had to have the record. And this is just like a really up-to-date form of word of mouth at the at light speed. We know? make records for our fans. We don't make records for the music industry. Well, one thing we're unanimous about regarding Napster, they're helping these guys go out on the road for free so you guys can see them this summer. Limp Biscuit, that's it from here in Los Angeles. Check them out this summer. Carson, back to you. Right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Fred. I was just like watching them.